Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another Plan With Me video. This week I'm going to be planning for the 27th of May to the 2nd of June using this Autumn Stories kit from Pomegranate Pins and Prints. I'm super excited to use this, it's got really nice premium matte paper. You can see I've also got these date covers from Stella Bow Sticker Co and some washi tape that I thought would go nicely as well. So I'm just starting off with the bottom washi down here. I really love the floral pattern on this one and I don't know, I just really like the colours. It's not colours I think I've really used before with the more like, like beige, I don't know, like orangey and like blue, but I really like how it turned out. Then I'm just going to start off by whiting out most of the days. I just wasn't sure if it was going to show through these white date cover stickers that I have put in as well. I just really like the script on these and I thought the colours would match really nicely. I start off by using some of the like washi strips as headers underneath the date covers. But I remembered I had the Simply Gilded washi that I wanted to bring into the spread so I swapped those out and for Monday to Friday I just trim little pieces of washi and use that against the top of the box. I think it matches pretty well. I don't, I'm not 100% sold on it. I don't know. I just really like using this washi in my spreads. Then I've got this box here that's just to mark in that I have a rental inspection. I am on um, leave from work this week so I don't have as much to mark in my planner so I'm keeping it pretty basic. Just a lot of to-do lists and a few boxes here and there. I still have my placement and I am working on Sunday so I've got a few things to mark in but I just want to, as I said, keep it as like a really basic plan for this week so I can add plenty to it. I really like the headers and checklists in these kits. You can see up in the top of the frame that there's really large blank full boxes. So if you're not into white space planning, you can layer the checklists over these to kind of make a checklist box. But I just really like that the headers and the list are the same color. And then what I did is I just used a to-do script. There were some in the kit, but I just used these ones from the GP studio. And I really like how it's not quite the same length but I think it looks really good. On Tuesday, you can see I used another one of the full boxes that's a bit more decorative at the bottom and blank up the top. So I just layered a quarter box over the top of that. That's just to mark in my placement. And then I've given myself a really long list for Tuesday as well. Much the same for Wednesday. I'm sorry if this one's a little bit boring. It's a bit of a quick video, just because I did kind of keep the spread pretty similar throughout. I do like when all the lists are the same and I think it creates a nice amount of cohesion amongst the spread. And then I'm just going to use a another one of the decorative full boxes. I really like the artwork in this kit and while it is, I guess, I mean it's, it's kind of like half winter for this week I'm planning for, but I made it just in time with the autumn theme of the kit, but then also all the typewriters and books. I have a really big assignment due on Friday, so I think it's very fitting for all the work I'm going to be doing this week as well. For the second half of the week, um, much the same, just popping down the date covers and that washi tape for Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday, I end up using the headers at the top of those. I just didn't want to take up as much room because the tape is quite thick. Thursday I'm just starting off with another full box at the top and then making myself another really long to-do list. I just really, I really like how these to-do lists came together. I think the matching colours look really nice. I contemplating, contemplated sorry, using the full boxes to kind of have a no white space um, list but I really like how it turned out with the white space and I guess I can always use these in a future spread as well. On Friday, this is D-Day, this is assignment due day, so I'm marking that at the top and then using the full box down the bottom and then in the middle, in that little gap, I just pop a smaller to-do list. On 
the weekend just popping down some of the washi strips or headers whatever you want to call them just the thinner ones as I said the washi was really thick and because these days are like a half size I didn't want to take up too much space I do like putting one of the strips above Sunday as well I start off by using a patterned one but I end up changing this out for a blue one because with the patterned washi strips in this kit they're um, different thicknesses which I know is very common but I kind of subbed that in on the weekend for almost like a mini full box. I know that's probably like a half box or something but just because the boxes are smaller obviously don't want to take up as much space but still want to have the decorative elements in there as well. Then I realized a few things I had it marked so it's my last lecture for my class just popping in a few other icons as well. The really good thing about the full boxes in this kit is you can layer over them so whether you're writing just straight on them or popping another like appointment label or something you're not going to lose the whole design of the box if you just take up a little bit of it and I like the effect that it gives as well. So on Saturday you can see I just use one of the decorative stickers as a little like checkpoint and then I've got an I think that's an appointment label and with this open planner sticker from Birdie Planning then I just swapped down to Sunday made myself a to-do list and I think I can't know I don't know if I already put it down I put down a half box to mark in my shift at work and then just used a washi strip in between. And then realized I could use the thicker one on Saturday. So I just swapped that bottom sticker I just pulled up and ruined my page. I'm gonna replace that with a blue one and then pop down the like thick decorative sticker there. Now I'm just going to go in and layer a few more icons and things like that. I really like this little um, like a, a commuter, computer, computer, computer emoji from Stickers by Ashley K. I pop in my work script sticker just on Sunday. That's very nice to see just one day of work. And this cute little coffee cup icon came with the kit as well. There was a whole bunch of like black and white icons on there. I've got these Instagram icons from Jessica Kate Planning as well. And once I get this one down, that is about it. That is my finished spread. I really love how it turned out. If you want to see how I continue to fill out this spread, make sure you have a look at my Instagram page. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed and leave me a comment as well. Have a great week. Bye.